Hello, my name is Ta. I'm going to show a quick um, rundown of how to set up a nice easy, um, auto crafting system called well, Crafting Helper for Blood Magic um, that allows you to specify what kind of slate you want to make and have it automatically pull out the slate at the proper time. Um, so this is done uh, using a, applied energistics in a very, very simple system that's going to make it so even when after this is changed to the first um, tier of slate, the blank slate, uh, it is not going to be pulled out until imbued slate, simply because that's what I have uh, specified here. So, uh, this is it'll take a little bit here. Speed runes are coming next. Um, the way this works is very, very simple. We can see that it has now pulled out the slate and just put it right into the chest. And it's really easy to build, even for early game, or fairly early on, once you can get a really simple ME system components put together. Uh, it's very simple. So, to start out, let's just look underneath. All we have is an import bus with a couple of acceleration cards. These aren't 100% necessary, but it ensures that the slate doesn't like, somehow end up going on to the next stage before it can be pulled out. Um, and this cable just goes all the way underneath over to uh, those levers over here. So, we can see the cable actually coming through. Whoop, uh, wrong one. Coming through down here at the bottom, um, and going into the system, let's take a look at what this is. So to start, I have a solar panel up here with just an energy conduit connecting to an energy acceptor. So this is on its own sub-network. There are no controllers necessary, um, none of that. Uh, it can just run all on its own and uses a very small amount of power. So in each of these things, I have an ME toggle bus. I'll come at this angle so you can kind of see it better. Whole system. Uh, an ME toggle bus behind a storage bus that's configured to the type of slate for each of these uh, different chests. Now, if you haven't seen a toggle bus before, it's a really useful but kind of niche um, component for ME system. It requires a redstone signal to go to it, and if as long as there's redstone, um, it enables that cable. So uh, right now you can see that this device is offline and so is the storage bus because this cable is blocked off by the toggle bus. If I switch this lever, it now enables the toggle bus is now online and so is the storage bus. Um, so now this is suddenly connected with that import bus. So the import bus will pull items out and now it has somewhere to store them. If this is turned off, there's nowhere to store the items. It won't pull any items. Everything is fine. So... Um, this is really useful for these kinds of manual systems where it's like, I want to have something somewhat automated but still have to manually specify. Toggle buses can be fantastic for that. Um, other than that, I simply have these uh, blocks here to make it a nice background with a stairs above the chest to make it so you can still open it. Um, this one has facades because I have the energy acceptor here. I could move this back, but I liked the way it looked with a nice, easy maintenance tunnel <laughs> going by the back here. Um, and then I have facades on the uh, on the top and side or front top and front I guess of these uh, where the switches go, uh, so we can easily put the levers and have it all work nicely. So the coolest thing about this design is that it is infinitely extendable. You can have as many of these things as you want, and it will not change uh, the system. You don't have to have any extra components; just add more cable. And the reason it works like that is you don't have to ever worry, worry about channels because the only things that will be enabled on a channel are the import bus and whichever one of these things you have switched. Because remember, toggle bus completely disables that cable. It doesn't use up any channels in the process. So you can have as many of them as you want. As long as you're only switching one at a time, I guess you could technically do up to seven switches. Um, and it won't have any problems at all. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Um, hopefully I'm going to be putting out a video pretty soon about... Um, how to do full auto crafting of these different components in a fairly effective manner with the uh, ME system um, with, without having to flip any switches yourself. So I hope this helped you. Um, thanks for watching.